All right, uh, so our uh, next talk is Secure Non-Interactive Simulation, Feasibility and Rate. Uh, this is by Hamid Reza uh, uh Hamanta Maji, and Hai and Gayan. And uh, Hai will give the talk, uh, so uh, yeah, go ahead. Hi, is your uh, microphone on? Okay, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to talk about secure non interactive simulation, feasibility, and rate. And this is how I work with Hamid and Majid. So let me start with some motivation for studying secure non interactive simulations. So a prominent uh, paradigm in secure computations is a pre-processing model. And this model has produced some successful stories. In this model, there are two phases, offline phase and the online phase. So offline phase distributes uh, correlated private randomness to parties. And this step is independent of the functions and also the input of the secure computation performed in the online phase. On the other hand, so online phase is fast and can achieve information theoretic security. And this phase consumes correlations generated from the online phase to perform the uh, derived secure computation task. Okay. However, there is a um, concern from, for this. The online protocol need very well-structured correlations and generating uh, well-structured correlations is very expensive. And if the online protocol using some cheap correlations, like the noisy correlations, then um, the online protocol is usually uh, not fast enough. It is slow. Okay. So one idea, the solutions is to transform uh, cheap correlations into uh, well-structured ones and non-interactively and efficiently. Okay. So motivated by this, we introduce a new model. We call it secure non-interactive simulation. So the objective is to, simu uh, to simulate a sample of um, target distribution UV from an independent sample of the um, sort distribution XY. Okay. So in this one, Alice get XN and Bob gets YN. Additionally, Alice also have access to uh, private random list RA. Okay. Bob also have access to a private random list RB. And then Alice apply a reduction functions on her samples and the private randomness to obtain the output U prime. Similarly, uh, Bob applies a reduction function GN on his samples and the private randomness RB to obtain an output V prime. Okay. So the correctness of this simulations is to ensure that the joint distribution of the outputs is close to the target distribution. So in addition to the uh, correctness, uh, we also require the uh, security conditions. Okay. So we followed, uh, we formulate this uh, security conditions uh, based on the universal composable uh, security uh, by Kennedy. So in this model, uh, it is secure in corrupt Alice. If the distributions of uh, Alice sample condition on fixing the output is rapidly uh, independent of the pop output. Okay. In other words, um, the, view, uh, the uh, view of Alice can be simulated only from uh, Alice output. And similarly, uh, it is secure in corrupt Bob. If the distribution of uh, Bob samples condition on fixing the output is rapidly independent of um, Alice output. So these three conditions together if I secure non-interactive simulations of uh, UV from X1. So to study uh, the rate, we consider M independent samples of the target distribution UV. So the rate of this uh, simulations is a maximum achievable rate, uh, is a maximum achievable ratio M by N. So this uh, similar looks very similar to uh, some existing ones in uh, 
information theory and cryptography. Okay. So let me mention some of them here. Uh, secure non-interactive non simulations and information theoretic a lot of uh, zero random correlation generators, uh, which we introduced uh, very recently. And second, uh, secure simulations the uh, cryptographic extensions of uh, non-interactive simulations, okay? which is a classical problem in information theory. So in uh, non-interactive simulations, uh, security is not, a, uh, is not a concern at all. And first of all, um, secure non-interactive simulations is uh, generalizations of non-interactive communication simulations uh, to arbitrary target. Okay? And finally, uh, one can view the secure non-interactive simulations as a rejection of one-way secure computations to no interactions. Okay. So in one-way secure computations, only one participates and the other party listens. So our work focused on uh, two fundamental correlations. Okay. So the first one is the noise from the binary symmetric source. So for this source, Alice, Alice receives uh, an uniform random bit, plus one or minus one. And here we use the multiplicative uh, notations, plus one means zero and minus one uh, means one. And we plot the one minus epsilon, but we receive the same bit. And we plot the epsilon, but we receive the Philip bit. So I'm representing this correlation as PSS rho, where rho equal to one minus two epsilon. And the second uh, correlation is the noise from binary eraser source. And again, uh, Alice receives a uniform random bit, plus one or minus one, with probability one minus epsilon, both receives the same bit. And with probability epsilon, um, both receives the erased bit. So we use the notation zero here for the erasure. Okay. And I represent this correlation as BES of rho, where rho equal to square root of one minus epsilon. And the reasons um, we choose the um, uh, parameter in rho, because rho corresponding to the maximal correlations of uh, this source. Okay. And maximal correlations is a very prominent quantity in uh, information theory. And we, we see later that this is so very convenient um, for our representation. So let me give you an uh, example of insecure reduction. So this example is um, a reduction from uh, reduction of uh, binary symmetric source from a, one sample of binary eraser. Okay. So at least have an uniform random bit x plus one or minus one. Um, and Bob has y is equal to the Alice bit with property one minus epsilon, and otherwise it is zero. And so Alice simulation function works as follow. It says output her random bit x. Okay. Bob output y if y is plus one or minus one. And otherwise it's output an uh, uniform random bit. And you can see that um, this implements uh, the output u prime and v prime implements an uh, BSS with parameter rho prime, where rho prime equal to this quantity. Okay. Uh, so it is correct. And one can verify that it is secure again, uh, correct Alice. But this reduction is insecure, again, correct both. So really, the reason is that uh, the two distribution, uh, the two conditional distributions that you can see here, uh, is not independent from U prime. This is Alice output. Okay. So next, um, let's take a look at um, secure reduction uh, where we can simulate one sample of BSS from two independent samples of binary symmetric source with maximal correlation rho. Okay. So the, the reduction is very simple here. Uh, both parties just output the products of their samples. Okay. This, uh, U prime equal to the product of uh, the first sample times the second sample, and similarly for uh, Bob. Okay. And for this, um, we can 
verify that it is a correct and secure construction. So our, so our questions from this model is that given a source and a target distributions, is that possible to simulate the target distributions from the source? So in other words, we are interested in whether it is feasible or not. And when it is feasible, uh, we, we want to make it very efficient and we try to simulate as many uh, samples as possible. So we're interested in what is the most efficient uh, secure simulations. So uh, we initiate the study of uh, feasibility and rate of secure non-interactive simulations. And uh, in an independent work, Aguava et al. Uh, introduced the same primitive. And um, they focus on studying the feasibility, uh, feasibility uh, from arbitrary source and target distribution. And you will see this in the next talk. So let me summarize uh, our results. Our first result is a uh, de-randomization. So basically, um, this is telling us that private randomness is useless for secure uh, sim simulation. Okay. And in fact, we have two uh, different ways of de randomize uh, some reduction functions. The first one is for the feasibility results. And the second form uh, studying the rate of secure reduction. So our first de-randomization results tell us that if there exists um, randomized constructions, then they also exist a deterministic constructions that yields uh, more number of sample, but asymptotically is the same. And with uh, almost the identical simulation error. However, this simulation does not enough suffice to study the rate because it doesn't preserve the number of samples. Okay? It uses more number of sample. So we also, we also put that it is possible to de-randomize the constructions using the same number of sample, but with slightly uh, higher uh, simulation error. So the constant here usually is a half, so we can achieve square root of new if the original randomized construction achieves uh, uh, simulation error new. So our work focus on uh, secure simulations between binary symmetric sources and uh, binary eraser sources. Okay. So first we show that it is impossible to simulate binary eraser source from uh, binary symmetric source of vice versa. Okay. And next we consider the cell reductions uh, between binary symmetric sources. And we show that it is feasible if the maximal correlation of the target distributions your power of the maximal correlations of the soft distribution. And in this context, when this happened, we show that the rate is less than or equal to one by k. And interestingly, we can prove very strong results. It tells that um, a statistical constructions can be error corrected to a perfect constructions. So in fact, uh, we show a um, dichotomy uh, of secure simulations. That is, um, either there exists a perfect construction or any constructions has constant insecure. And finally, we um, also consider the cell simulations between uh, binary eraser sources. This looks very similar to the simulation of binary symmetric sources. Okay. And basically the results are similar, but here uh, for, the perfect, for the perfect constructions, we are able to show that only linear reduction function work. Okay, so, and for the rest of the talk, I will be focusing on um, the technical ideas from our work. So to warm up, um, let us take a look at the impossibility of um, binary eraser source from binary symmetric source. So first I want to note that the impossibility result from 
uh, in CQ simulations and one way CQ computation uh, naturally carry over to the CQ simulations. And reverse hyperconjectivity and Harris claim and inequality are the two main technical tools to prove the impossibility results. So let me give you some intuition how to prove the impossibility results here. So here, if we look at the target distributions, okay, suppose that at least outputs equal to plus one with some constant probability. And also that the box output equal to minus one with some constant probability. Then this technical tool tells us that these two events must happen simultaneously also with some constant probability. However, for the binary eraser source, this probability is zero. So that's why it is impossible to simulate a binary eraser source from binary symmetric source. So next, uh, we take a look at the impossibility of binary symmetric source from binary eraser source. So here I want to note that this problem in uh, the other models, the in secure simulations, and the uh, one way security computations is still open for some reason of parameters. And uh, this problem seems uh, quite challenging in uh, this setting. However, in our setting, with the security conditions, we are able to show that it is impossible. So let me give you some high level idea of how we prove that. Okay. So we prove it by contradictions. First, we fix some source and the, and the target distributions. And suppose there exists um, statistical distance, as a, suppose there exists a statistical constructions. Okay. So our first step, we did we did randomize the um, reduction functions. So with parallel generality, we can say that the reduction function is deterministic. And then we algebraize the security definitions. And to algebraize this, we use the uh, macro and the adjoint macro operators of the source distributions. So we can, from the simulation way, we can also it to uh, the following uh, algebra constraints. So I'm not going uh, over the details of these constraints. Okay. And from those constraints, it implies an approximate eigenvector uh, problem. So basically it's saying that uh, some combined up to two macro operator apply on the function f should be close to a scaling of the function f. So intuitively, f should be an approximate eigenvector of the Markov operator t t bar. And then interestingly, we observe that when we apply the two Markov operator together, it is equal to the bonami baker noise operator with parameter rho square. So we use um, a Fourier analysis to show that um, the rho prime square is a power of rho square. So in other words, the maximal combination of the target distributions is a power of the uh, mass, a power of the maximal correlation of the source. And furthermore, we can show that uh, the, the spectral width of the reduction function f is mostly concentrated on terms. So with the um, uh, concentrations on low degree terms, we can apply a powerful tool from harmonic analysis, that is the Hunta theorem. And we can conclude that the reduction function F will be close to some constant Hunta Boolean function H. Okay. So H here depends only on a constant number of input variables and it is independent of uh, the number of samples n. And finally, we use the random rejection techniques um, to prove that the simulation errors is at least a constant. And here is a high level uh, template to um, prove the um, results. So first we de randomize and then we also price the security. And from the algebraizations, we get an approximate eigenvector problem. 
And from that, we show a Fourier concentrations and uh, uh, for applying Hunter theorem, we can do the dimension, dimension reductions. And next, we'll uh, take a look at the feasibility of a binary symmetric source from um, another uh, binary symmetric source. So intuitively, we follow uh, that template we show here. Okay, so we are able to show that uh, the maximum correlation of the target distributions must be a power of the maximum correlation of the source. Okay, and it also the case that the the spectral weight of the reduction function f concentrated on uh, some degree k. And we also show that um, both reduction function f and g should close to a constant junta Boolean functions. So it depends on only constant number of uh, input variables. So let me give you an example. As you see, so as you see before, um, so linear reductions, um, F and G here, we can simulate one sample of BSS uh, row prime from two sample of BSS row. And this is a linear constructions and all the Fourier weights of this function concentrated on degree two, okay? Because here, it, uh, your linear term is a product of two variable uh, x1 and x2. But interestingly, um, for this, there also exist nonlinear reduction functions. And this is a nonlinear reduction functions. I'm not going uh, over the detail of these constructions, okay? but you can observe that these constructions also uh, have the Fourier spectrum concentrated on dv2 because all the term here has dv2. It's the products of the two variables. And observe that this construction you force samples of BSS row to simulate one sample here. So we need four sample here. For linear reduction, we use only two samples. So a natural question to ask uh, to, is that a nonlinear reduction function always worse than the linear reductions. And interestingly, if we look at uh, the simulation of two independent sample of PSS row prep, then in fact, using two different uh, nonlinear reduction functions, this one and this one, then we can also achieve uh, we can uh, simulate two independent sample of binary symmetric source. So um, at a summary here, um, the block linear reductions achieve the red half, but nonlinear reduction also achieve the red half. So um, here it is natural to ask another question, can nonlinear non reduction surpass the red half? So uh, in fact, we prove that for perfect constructions, the rate can be at most half. So it means that um, nonlinear reduction functions can be at most as good as um, the uh, linear reduction functions for the simulation of binary symmetric source. Okay. So I, uh, I won't go over the detail of the outline here. Yeah. But for the statistical, um, for the statistical uh, simulations, this problem remained open. And we conjecture, uh, we have the following conjecture. It related to uh, harmonic analysis. And here, I want to emphasize that if we can prove this conjecture, then it shall, uh, it shall prove the rate from a statistical skill, a simulation of BSS from BSS. Okay. So let me briefly, um, Go over the conjecture here. So we, so we want to say that if we have two, uh, we have three functions that are all homozygous, okay, and any pairwise them is also a homozygous Boolean functions, then it must be the case that their products is also homozygous. So if we can prove this, we can prove a local to global structure, and this will help us to prove the red result for statistical games. Okay. 
And finally, we also um, found an interesting connection between um, uh, secure simulations and distant invariant codes. Okay. So of course, see uh, a distant invariant if the number of code was as distant i from a fixed code was c, it is independent of the code was c. Okay, so intuitively, if you look at the weight enumerator of c uh, plus with any code word in c, it is the same. Okay. So um, we show this connection to uh, the secure simulations of uh, binary symmetric source. Okay, so we saw that if there is a secure uh, simulations of BSS from uh, another BSS, okay, even if the two reduction functions are identical and the distant enumerators of any good work that in the p image of the reduction function f are identical. So at a, a summary, uh, we introduced a new model, a secure non-interactive simulations, and we initiate uh, the study of feasibility and read up uh, this model. And we give a complete characterizations of feasibility and rates among um, binary symmetric sources and uh, binary eraser sources, except for the statistical rate of uh, binary symmetric sources. And we prove very strong forms of statistical to perfect reductions. And finally, we show the connections of uh, secure simulations among uh, binary symmetric samples with uh, homogeneous Boolean functions and uh, distant invariant codes. And uh, thank you for your attention. All right, uh, thanks, hi. Um, so we're running a little bit uh, over time. So I think uh, um, maybe if anyone has questions, uh, I'd encourage you to sign on to Zoom and uh, ask, uh, ask Kai in chat, uh, and uh, we'll set up for the, the next speaker. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.